Okay, this is showing how we're going to be able to use this remote control called the Game Handle by Yaboom with the Yaboom Super Bit and some basic Lego Technics parts to build a four wheel robot car. This wheel is called an Omni Wheel. It's not motorized, but it allows the car to spin left and right, turn without dragging. These are handy to have. You'll notice that they have the X hub, just like the rear wheels do. And the purpose of that is to fit into these red motors right back here that drive the car. Where do you get them? Here is a website. These are called Geek Servo DC Motors for Wheels. It looks like Kittenbot Company has this one. And you'll see also that there are some gray motors that, uh, like this, that's the servo. And that's what we've got right here. I want to talk about where we can get these Lego kits with all these Technics parts. To start with, here's a company, QIHUI, that makes Lego compatible Technics parts. I found this on eBay. It looks like they're $23, $24 with uh, several dollars for shipping. No, free, uh, free standard shipping. All right. Here's another Lego compatible kit, Tip Top Toys, $13.96 on eBay with $6 shipping. These will tell you how many pieces they've got, 361. That should be enough to build this very simple car. What we're trying to do is figure out how to get a car that kids can learn about coding, robotics, and make it as family friendly in cost as possible. This is going to be about as cheap as you can get for a programmable, reprogrammable robot type car. This is the Lego, sorry, this is the Yaboom Super Bit. There is also a kitten bot robot bit. Here's a super bit. This is just one source robot shop. There are other sources. You can buy these also directly from your boom. And here is the code. We have to have two sets of codes because there are two micro bits involved. There's the one that's on the send game controller and then the one that's on the receive uh, super bit. This shows as it's flashing that there's signal being sent, radio signal. I use this program for the send only because I don't have to change it each time I change and test different parts of the receive end. Here is the receive code. You'll know that because you've got motor blocks and the super bit to drive the car. And what I've said is when you receive a signal, go forward or backward, turn left or right. And when you receive a different signal, these are string signals, in other words, letters rather than numbers. When you receive a different letter, show a color like red and here make the 270 degree servo a certain position it's plugged into s1 on the board if you press a different color button that will make a different color show and I've got a program so that then you can press a different button and it will raise or lower the servo to a certain position. That's what servos do. 
So the rest of the code is here. This code and the other code will be in the description of the video. As you can see, this receive code does not have two micro bits showing in the simulator. The send code does because it's sending from one micro bit to the other. There will be more about this.